All right, let's finish what we started last time. Okay, since you last saw me, I did a bit of cleanup on the driver's side after installing that coil spring. Uh, got things torqued down, got the cotter pin installed, still got the wheel off, but I did, I did grease all those joints, the ball joints, the, uh, uh, the Global West Dell Loom bushings, those all got greased while it's easy to get to. Um, oh yeah, found the leak from the uh, power steering. It's actually the input from the steering column into the steering box. That's not a spot I wanted to see leaking, but you know, we'll figure it out in a little bit. Anyways, time to move to the other side. Big long time lapse. You guys saw me install it the first time. In the event that there's uh, anything wild and earth shattering, I'll bring it to you. But uh, nah, we're just going to have some uh, fun wrenching in the garage. It's warm. I'm already sweating. You can see it's a beautiful day out there. So, I got a little fan. I got Motor Mania TV going here. Big dollar bracket racing. It's going to be a good afternoon. Thanks for watching, guys. part is done wow I'm not sure which head was harder they both kind of fought me a little bit this one had its own myriad of issues including my own uh, mistake of leaving the fork in too low in the coil spring so when I got it in the a arm it was held captive I had to loosen up the control arm the ball joint castle nut drop the controller down just enough to get the fork out without releasing the spring so yeah this one seemed to fight me a fair bit too, but uh, you know, it's done. I've still got Motor Mania TV cruising over here, as you can hear. So yeah, we're going to get this greased up, the wheel put back on, everything's torqued. I'm just going to do those last little bits. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far in the video, let me know that you made it this far in the video, because this is probably one of the slowest... Uh, videos but I'm gonna time lapse the crap out of it so it hurts less for you guys to watch anyway thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates hopefully we'll be getting the transmission done soon I heard from Hughes that the converters done and should be headed it's uh, headed home to go back in here the transmissions up next so hopefully we'll see what happens if we get this done in time we might be able to make next weekend's race if not no big deal. I'd rather have a good transmission than a uh, pile of broken parts. So, until next time, thank you guys for watching.